2020 was really hard on all of us, especially the students. There was a new method introduced for the online classes and it was really hard for the students and teachers to, you know, kind of adjust to it. But now the time is for the examinations. And if you are thinking that कि ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मेरे बहुत सारे टॉपिक्स मुझे क्लियर नहीं हुए मुझे समझ में नहीं आए बहुत सारी पढ़ाई मेरे को इनकंप्लीट है जो कंप्लीट करनी है मेरा कोर्स कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस रनिंग इन योर माइंड फॉर द एग्जाम एग्जाम की तैयारी कैसे करें सिलेबस कैसे कंप्लीट करें किस तरह से मैं अपना डे प्लान करूं एग्जाम्स के लिए एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हु विल हेल्प मी नाउ so this video is for you hello everyone welcome back so today's video is a hot topic video exams are coming soon and everyone is stressed because the whole year they were at homes and not studying anything watching tv mobiles and roaming around freely but now it's time to the exam that is not changing at all so here i am with all the great tips and tricks for a smart study not hard study because if you are in the 20th century with so many things options available uh, we should not study hard but we should study smart so i am here with a lot of things in this video as to tell you how you can really prepare for the examinations by some tips and also some free apps in the play store which can be really helpful for you at this point of time and also some time management tips and a sample timetable for you so stay tuned and watch the video till the end first of all i'll start the video with three common questions which are asked by the students how to study what to study and where to study so the first one is how to study basically if you study your 30 to 40 percent of your syllabus thoroughly and really nicely you will be able to achieve 70 percent of mark by this i don't mean that you do you just uh, complete only 30 percent of your syllabus but thoroughly means that 30 to 40 percent of your syllabus should be really hard core study so you will be able to achieve 70 percent of marks this is scientifically proven Second tip for here, how to study is uh, you can go through the previous year work papers. Also, all those important points which your teacher was continuously telling during the online classes. Also, the pre midterm papers, the topics which we which came in that. So these are really important topics which uh, you can really study hard on for how to study. You have to make smaller goals smaller shorter goals like uh, for example 30 days goals or 40 days goals like how much time period you are left with your exams to start off so you can make a spreadsheet you're going to use excel if you're good in that you can even use a pen and paper for that and you can divide your syllabus your subjects according to the days left so everything penned down and you know you, you can just uh, locate weeks like this week is for this subject or this topic is for this week or so on according to your standard and class so this is the way i think right now your plan of action should be when there are hardly one or two months left for the preparation the third question is where to study this is really an important question and the answer for this is it is always preferred to have one fixed study space. It should not be fancy study table. It can be any table and chair, but it should be fixed and it should be in a properly ventilated area, also in a quiet room. You cannot just have your studies in your living room every day. So the first thing I'm covering here are the tips. Uh, I believe in smart studies, not hard studies. It is not that you're studying throughout the day, but you are not studying it smart. You are in 20th century. You have to be really smart. You should have a really smart way of your studies too, with the using of technologies around you and so many things, the resources which are available for you all. For studying smart, the first point I will say is you have to study in chunks. Make each of your study sitting in chunks uh, by this i mean that for example uh, if i study for 25 minutes i take a five minutes quick break it, it can be a water break it can be just moving around your house and coming back 
but not at all going back to social media because then it will never be a five minute break. वो हमेशा extend होके बहुत लंबा हो जाएगा. The second smart tip is 20% read and 80% recite. With this, what I mean is, if you are going through a chapter, then you just 20% of that, you just read that and then close the book and then revise what you read. So, just thinking maybe explaining to other person, imagining you are a teacher or you are explaining the topic to other person, so that whatever you have read, it is there in your mind and you are revising it by reciting it, by talking. The third smart tip to study is, to make notes yes i know a lot of you must not have done this but still it's time uh aap agar chapter padh rahe hain to aap padhte padhte aap apni notes bhi bana sakte hain iske liye bhi ek technique hai uh in that which i call is as q a e e so q is for question you write the question a is for answer you write the answer e is for evidence and E is for example. So, for example, if you have a topic, so write a question about that topic, give the answer for that, give an example for that, related example, and an evidence. For example, evidence for gravitational forces, the apple is coming down, or you have done any experiments for that, so you can note it down. So, this is a really good technique to even write your answer sheets in your exam, to break your answer in such way, and uh, like you know one para for the basic answer then the example for it and the evidence for it so you can follow this technique so the next smart tip is sq3 hours where s stands for survey q stands for question r stands for read the next r stands for recite and the last one is for review so what you have to do is for example if you uh, pick a chapter in your physics book so first you survey the chapter like you know just going through the chapters what are the topics and only reading the headlines and everything then go at the back and just review the questions which are there at the back of the chapter so so you have done the survey then you have seen the questionnaire and then come back and start reading the whole chapter so now you're done with your reading part and as i told you 20 percent reading and 80 percent of uh, rec recite thing is always memorized so you close the book and try to recite what you have read in that chapter so that it will be you know really into your brains and the last thing is revision so again if you are not able to recite anything you can go back and revise the thing so this is a really smart technique guys and do try it the next smart tip is sleep yes you heard it right uh, sleep is really important a student should sleep around seven to eight hours in the night because your brain needs rest to absorb the knowledge which you have been reading throughout the day and also it's really good to have a proper sleep pattern uh, so coming to the second section of our video that is time management. This is the most important thing of a student's life. If you are not able to manage your time properly then you are not able to do anything successfully. So you should be able to manage your time. For that you should have fixed time slots for each activity. I don't mean that you know you should stop watching mobile, no screen time, no TV, no playing, nothing. And also according to the need of the hour, it should be maximized or minimized. So as we all know this time, it's hardly two months left for your exams. So you know, the best thing to do right now is prepare a timetable uh, of the things which you do every day, note it down in one place and how much study hours you need to study. So I have prepared a sample timetable for all of the students as it's, it's just a guide. Uh, you can actually manage it if you want uh, to study before or to sleep later hours. You can uh, change according to your choice. So this is something I have created a sample timetable. I'll just quickly go through this so that uh, you can just note it down if you are watching this video and you really want to follow this or modify it. So in this timetable, uh, keeping in mind that the exams are just 
waiting there. So I have 10 hours of study time in this timetable. According to your standard, your examinations, you can increase or decrease your study time. So here I say that early in the morning, 5.30 a.m., you have to wake up. So if you are an early person and you want to get up in 5 a.m., that's absolutely fine. But I think you should really get up early around 5.30, wake up, have some water, have some dry nuts, dry fruits, and have a fruit and freshen up to get started with the first study session, which I have kept from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. I will suggest to pick up the most difficult topic or the most difficult subject you think during this slot because you are fresh and in the morning if you crack that big monster you'll be really happy and feel relaxed during your daytime and in between the 6 and 8 a.m 7 a.m or something you can take a water break a quick five minutes break go around roam around but do not touch your phone because that is a distraction then the next thing comes from 8 a.m. to 9.30. Take a longer one and a half hour break. In this time, you can take your breakfast, you can take bath and you know, you can do anything. You can exercise, which is really important for students because you're just sitting in one place like a sloth beer and you're not moving around. Your body also needs some exercise to energize to pump up and believe me the peop the students who exercise or play physically play outdoors have a good concentration level and here comes the second study slot that is from 9 30 to 11 30 again two hours of uh, slot time uh, here i would suggest to pick up some mock test if you're solving uh, past years papers or something any mock test if you have so you can take up that because it is really good and you can create that environment and don't get up in between if your uh, exam time is two hours given to you then fix those two hours sit and um, think that you're really writing a paper 11 30 you can take a break uh, you can move around relax have a screen time of half an hour or something like that and then again getting back 12 30 Check that paper, give yourself scoring, give yourself marks, identify the points which you were not able to do it correctly and also which you were able to do very nicely, you know. So just go through your paper from 12.30 to 1.30 and remember this is really important step. I think when I was a student, I used to, when I used to write papers at home, I used to give a mock test, uh, all those things which I did wrong <laughs> used to come in the paper in finals and then I remember, yes, this was the correct answer for this question. So this is really helpful and you never forget what you have done wrong. After all this, 1.30 to 2.30, take a one hour break. In that you can have lunch, a healthy lunch and also uh, you can talk to your friends you can have some screen time or take a nap if you want if you want to rest for some time and then get ready for your next two hour study time that is 2 30 to 4 30. during this time i will always suggest you all to have your favorite subjects done or some good exercising subjects or even the apps which i'm going to share with you all they have amazing games with the topics related to what you study so you have to be really having some fun topic and fun subjects during this time because uh, you really feel dozed off and you really feel sleepy during this time again 4 30 take a break for one hour and during this time you can have some snacks you can go out take around in your society talk to your friends discuss any problems or solutions if you have if you have common friends of your class you can discuss some topics with them or just go around cycling and do some fun activity you know whatever you like hobby hobbies yes that is important you don't have to study all the time because you know your brain also needs break and you know to come back to uh, that concentration level you have to chill that out so you know your brain needs to chill out 
remember that so just do whatever you like during this time uh, you can go play badminton you can do cycling you can do any physical activity as well you can dance also yes remember studies are there in place but this is not the life you know every year you'll have exams uh, take it seriously but not that seriously that you know you're just going into it all the time so you have to be really chill about it and you have to make studies uh, interesting and fun again ready for the next session study session that is from 5 30 to 7 30 to our session here you can pick up a different topic which you've not done or any different subject which you have not covered in the daytime so you can have all together a different topic here again 7 30 to 8 30 have a break this is your uh, dinner time also i i will suggest you to have dinner around 8 or 8 15 before that you know from 7 30 you can clean up your desk you can get prepared for the next day and you know if you have to do some organizing stuff and you know cleaning up the table booking marking things in the book or extra things which you have to do you can do that as well and uh, you can have your dinner and get ready for the last session for the last study session of the day that is from 8 30 to 10 so during this time i think uh, do whatever you want to remember really nicely i would uh, suggest you to have theory papers reading theory papers during this time because when you read that and you just go to sleep you know that is there in your unconscious mind so <clears throat> you can just try out theory papers during this and don't fall asleep reading history and 10 p.m you have to go to bed 10 p.m going to bed with the mobile on the apps don't do that because then you will not be able to sleep nicely the last section of this video is the free apps which i was talking about yes yeah, so today i'll be sharing with you all six great amazing free apps available on play store for the students so the first app here is diksha it is authorized by the indian ministry government of india it has from class 1 to class 12th you can find everything and this is an amazing app the second app i'll talk about is khan academy uh, this is the most popular app and it is really amazing the interface is really nice and just try out this app it will really help you a lot the third app i'll talk here is about the class sathi app in this app you will have all the mock tests and test series from class 6th to class 12th so if if you are in class stand 6th standard to 12th standard it's really of great help for you guys to have your mock tests here on this app the fourth app i'll talk here about is the microsoft match solver this is purely a mathematics app and uh, it, the interface is so nice you can even write your question there or you can type your question there or you have a set of questions you can go through that so it's really amazing for all those who have problems in mathematics the fifth app here i'm talking about is formulia Formulia is an app having all the formulas. It also has a, a scientific calculator and all the formulas related to your physics, chemistry, maths. Everything is covered in this. Next app is Kahoot. Uh, Kahoot app is a quiz app. Basically, you actually can have two or three friends playing different quizzes, different games related to study topics. So that do share this video with all your friends and the family members so that they can also uh, learn how to you know really get prepared for their coming examinations and the students watching it right now do share with your friends and mamas and daddies do show this video to your kiddo so that you know he or she will be really enthusiastic for the examination and also he or she will be motivated to study and also prepare for the examination so with this note, signing off Vani. Bye-bye. Take care. See you soon.